25 years ago, Nigeria's Chiamaju was gold medal jump sent shockwaves around the world. She made history. It was the first time Nigeria won a gold medal at the Olympic Games. The first by a woman. Two and a half decades later, a new collection of women athletes will be carrying the hopes and dreams of Nigeria at the Tokyo Olympics. Four women, four stories, one goal. As they look to make history. Today, I talk to Toby Amuso, Ese Brume, Adora Ilonu, and Oduayo Adekroye as they share their inspiration, passion, and ultimate quest for glory. My name is Tega Onojaife, and this is Headliner. From the streets of Ugeli to the world, S.A. Brume's ascension in the world of sports has been meteoric. My parents are the, this kind of strict parents. Um, we're not allowed to go out. We're not allowed to have friends. And you know, it's, I'm really surprised. I'm shocked that I'm, I'm, I'm even allowed to do sports. So I thought I was just doing it for fun, just to leave the house. What started as an excuse for her to get out of the house took a more serious tone when she met coach Kayode Yaya. There was nothing outstanding about her. She was just normal like every other person. There was no specific ability. But the whole idea was that get these kids busy so that their energy will not be channeled into something negative. Yeah, she's a once in a lifetime athlete because she has um, a combination of everything. If she really wants to sprint, she can. If she wants to jump, she can. We've been um, pushing ourselves hard and um, you know, trusting the process of our training, believing in our coach. Mind over body. What you know over how you feel. Always remember that. I remember the time she trained and she passed out in training. She woke up and she said she wants to continue. I was like, who is this? It's all about knowing purpose. So the knowing there is what makes all the difference. Know why I ought to do this. In 2012, Essay burst onto the national scene to compete at Nigeria's national festival. She won gold in the long jump, a star was indeed born. I've never really noticed the attention around me, but after the huge reception I got at the airport in Nicosia, Cyprus, after returning from the World Championship Games in Doha, I began to get the sense that people are really watching me. and she intended to keep it that way. On the 30th of May, 2021, she broke the African long jump record set by Chioma Ajunwa 25 years ago at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. I never thought that I would break the Chioma Ajunwa's 25 years old record. I was only five months old when she won Nigeria's first gold medal at the Atlanta 96 Olympics. And to this day, she still inspires a lot of people in Nigeria, especially young girls. I like him in hand though, Mese Brume. She's perfect on the board. This is why every time I step out to compete, I understand that I don't just represent myself out there. I represent God, my coach, my family, and most importantly, the hopes and dreams of young girls all across Africa and the world. I carry on the legacy of strong and amazing women athletes that came before me and the ambitions of a generation of young people whose time is now. <laughs> 